And, you know, I, I really want to stress the fact that we are not just for the high school graduate. We love having young students mm -hmm. uh, out of high school. But a great number of our students are adults who have either decided to uh, focus on a different career path or because of work situations need to focus on a different career path, training for a particular job. We have a lot of that um, going on on our campus. So we're, we're there for, it's interesting, the uh, high school student who registers and comes in will find that he's in a class with, very, with varying ages. That's so they learn from each other here too. Very great. So it's never too late to go back to school, pick up a career, and, you know, to better your life. That's exactly right. Or if someone just wants to come for their own personal growth and, and enjoyment, we welcome them to our general education courses or to use our library facilities or to do whatever they need to do. We're there to help them. That is so great. Now, what is the process of, like, if somebody enrolls in, like, cosmetology, uh, a young lady or something like that? What is the process? How many months? How many years? It depends upon the program. Okay. Many of our, uh, if they complete an associate degree, mm -hmm. it's usually a two, designed as a two-year program. They can take longer if they need to, right. but they would do that in four semesters usually. If they're going for a certificate, it may be much, much less time. And we've just added a wonderful certificate program, uh, paramedic training, mm -hmm. and I mean, that's a... a quick and easy way to get really into the medical field. But another program that, that our listeners might be interested in that is a very short program is our lineman training program. Lineman. Yeah, we knew there was a need. We had been approached about offering lineman training. And in combination with some community groups, we have a wonderful center where they can climb poles, they can do all the things that they need to do to be ready to go to work with power companies and uh, telephone companies and so on. Uh, these students, we've had over 300 go through the program in the last two and a half to three years, and we've had over 300 who are placed in jobs mm. that are making quite, quite significant wages now. Well, you know, I've heard of success stories about uh, maybe a man or a woman that dropped out of school in an early age. They went and got their GED equivalent, and then they went on to college, and they just become like in the medical fashion or something like that. You know, just because that you've had a, a tragedy in your life or dropped out of school at an early age don't mean you have to settle for that. Absolutely not. We, we're there, and that's our whole focus, is to improve the quality of life of the people in our communities. Oh, that's so great. Now, how long have you been with the Somerset Community College? I am finishing my 12th year. 12 years. And throughout the years, I'm very sure that you've seen so many lives that have been successful and, and went and got their diplomas, and it's just a feeling of achievement. Absolutely. One of, one of our most delightful times is commencement when we're standing on the stage and these students are walking across and their families are there and they're celebrating mm -hmm. the success that this student has had and their faces are bright with anticipation <laughs> of what's coming. They're, they're very, that's, a, that's a, a delightful moment for us. So they receive diplomas, they receive, uh, receive degrees and things like that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, what is the process of that? You know you got your degrees and then you've got your master's degrees. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that to us a little? Well, we're in the business to give associate degrees. Associate. That's two years. That degree is prepared. It, if it's an associate in applied science, that's a degree that prepares them for the workforce immediately mm -hmm. in a healthcare field or a technical field. If it's an associate in science or arts, that degree is prepared for them, preparing them to transfer to University of Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky. Kentucky University or Campbellsville, any, any um, four-year institution. And they will transfer. Mm -hmm. If they have listened to their advisor, right. they will transfer with an um, uh, associate degree and they'll be a junior at that 
institution. So two more years, they would have a BS or a baccalaureate. Mm -hmm. And then if they choose to pursue a master's degree, they're, they're on track for that. That is wonderful. I've noticed here recently a lot of different businesses have been sending people to school to further their education and degrees and things like that, especially the nursing field. You know, uh, maybe somebody goes in as a nurse aide and they want to become a full nurse. We, we have a wonderful program called Career Pathways where uh, the hospitals are working with us when they designate, and of course people can, can do it on their own too, but the, hospital will, the hospitals will send particular students to us who may be a nurse aide or may be an administrative assistant mm -hmm. but wants to go on. And this Career Pathways uh, offers the classes at times that, that will work with a working schedule. So it's nights and weekends and right. they can complete the next level in whatever they want to do. 